All right, everybody. Today we're going to be unboxing the DJI Phantom, the Spirit of Flight, which we call it the Phantom One, but they just called it the Phantom because they never even knew if there was going to be a Phantom Two or not. So, I mean, I've heard a lot of uh, flyaway horror stories about this thing, but you know, I just wanted it. You know, it's just one of them deals. It was just something I wanted. I saw it, and it was a pretty... This was an open box um, sale. I got it what I thought was pretty reasonable. Um, this is the updated version of the one. This one has the... I think the self-tightening props, which it doesn't show on the picture... You, on the picture, you see the ones the, with the little cap on there that screws down. But I think this one has the self-tightening. They did that, and the camera is not in there either. But from what I've seen, the camera wasn't any good anyway. So I'm going to be putting a, a GoPro session on here. That's what I'll put on the mount is the uh, session. So <clears throat> let's take a look. Like I said, it was open box, but it wasn't used. It was never put together or anything like that. And there it is. Voila. <laughs> the transmitter here, it looks very similar to the Phantom 3 uh, transmitter. Um, almost identical, actually. He did throw this phone holder in here for I don't know why because there's nowhere to mount it. Okay, so I didn't, this didn't use the app or anything like that. As a matter of fact, let me cut the let me cut the video real quick. I'm gonna go grab the uh, Phantom Three so we can compare them to see if there's any difference in them. Here's the <clears throat> the new controller here. <clears throat> here's the Phantom Three controller and here's the Phantom One controller. They look pretty, pretty similar. So they didn't even change the style of this until it got to the Phantom 4. I think it's a little different from this. But they kept this basic design except for the, uh, you know, the battery thing. Because this uses AAA or AA batteries. And we're going to put some in here. And hopefully it'll turn on. Yep, works like a champ. And then here's the quadcopter itself. Take those doodads off. Then here's the sticker pack, and they even show you on here how to put the stickers on because it has its indented right there to kind of guide you how to put the stickers on. And you gotta assemble this thing basically because there's the antenna and you gotta run that down the leg and put that into here. You have to plug that into here. So you gotta assemble this sucker and then there's some kind of, I don't even know what that is, it's some kind of antenna. It's another one. And then <clears throat> you have the battery here me put that over there this is a 2200 milliamp hour battery it says phantom on there yeah I'm actually shocked that there is not the least bit of swelling in this battery pack but I will keep my eye on it first time charging it because who knows it might just like swell up and explode you know for all I know Here's the props. I think that they're a little bit smaller than the Phantom 3 props. Yeah, I think these are 7 inch. I think these are 9s. And I think these are 7s or 8s. So they're a little bit smaller. I think the quadcopter is basically the same size. 
Yeah, that's the same size. You can see it sits directly on top. It's just, it's going to weigh less because, you know, it's not going to have that, uh, the camera and all, all that dampeners and all that stuff on there. Plus the battery's uh, a lot uh, smaller. 4480. And that's only uh, 2500 or whatever it was. Yeah, a 2200. So that's actually the double the size. The battery is actually double the size. Yeah, so that's that. Let me just set that there and we can look at the rest of this junk. So there's the legs, both of the legs. Here is the camera mount, which I'll be putting the GoPro uh, Session 5 on. And that mounts, you have to assemble that too. That goes right there. There's the two screw holes, so that mounts right like that. Yeah, the, where you put the battery in right here is actually the front of the quadcopter. The light here is the rear. This is the front. And there's no on and off switch. I think you just plug the battery in and it comes on. Then there's the do not eat thing. And then you have this box. The charger. I think it's a balanced charger that comes with it. Here's a USB extension, basically. Here's the power Thing. I don't know if it has the one I need in here, but I have these things, so I'm not concerned about it if he didn't put it in there. No, that's not in here, but that's not a big deal because I have these adapters, so I don't care about that. Oh, here's one right here. Here's an uh, American one right here. So I basically don't even need that. And then here is another USB lead. Like I said, since I never opened this and messed with it, I have no idea what all this stuff's for, to be honest with you. You know, this was a cold DI. The only thing I did was open the box and look in there. You know, that's the only thing I did. This is a balance charger, and it gives you different kinds of batteries you can actually charge with it. 3s, 4s, and 2s, so you can use different kinds of different kinds of batteries. So that's pretty that's pretty cool. Because what I did was I went and bought after I bought this, I bought another battery. <clears throat> I mean, I knew this battery was good because I I did check it as far as you know. I mean, I checked to see if it didn't if it wasn't swollen or anything. But I did go out and uh, get this battery here. That's a 2200. And I think this is a 3000. Yeah. This is a 3000. So we're going to go with this one. This is the one I'm going to use. This is a 30C. I don't know what this one is. This is a 20C. So this is a 30C. So this is the one I'm going to use when I take it out for the first time. But I got to, you know, put it all together and all that crap. So anyway, that's it, boys. The unboxing. And of course, here's all the screws to assemble it. And there's quite a bit of them in there, okay? And then this thing here has a... I think it's a prop tool in there of some sort. Let's crack it open and dump this out and see what it is. Because I'm going to be putting it together here after I cut this video. Okay, here's some pads. Here's some, I don't know what, a piece of string. Maybe this is how I tie the GoPro on with the string. <laughs> I suspect this is a prop tool, but I'm not sure. But... We'll see here. And then here's some kind of, okay, some kind of cable runs through there because there's a little indent in there. So, I don't know. I'll have to 
man, I'm going to have to read a manual, okay? So that's something I'm not used to doing, so. But I will. I will read the manual and get this sucker put together. All right, boys, there it is. Phantom One. Looks good, man. Looks real nice. I can't wait to get this thing up. I'm going to get this up for sure tomorrow or Tuesday. Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, one or the other. This thing's going in the air, no doubt. I didn't want to leave you hanging without seeing the build finished. Okay, so here it is. I did do the update on it, and that's what these cables were for. The original one, the cable, you had to plug it in through the battery. But this is the updated version one, so you actually had to plug it in under here see that there's a usb port right there a micro usb port so they give you this and here's the micro usb but this of course isn't going to reach to your computer so they had to throw this in here this extension and that's what this is for is you plug that in there plug that underneath and then plug this into the computer and you have to go download the dji software from their site they still have it on there okay <laughs> And then it tells you um, it tells you what to do. It's it's pretty simple. Okay, you'll go there, and of course you have to register to use the uh, assistant. But you know I'm already registered with DJI, so it won't do the update unless you register. Of course, that's the way DJI rolls. So you have to go in there and download the assistant. And it really has a lot of um, a lot of neat stuff on there. Actually, you can adjust the motor speeds and all kinds of stuff on there. You know, um, I didn't mess with any of that, of course. You know, until I at least fly it one time, and then maybe I can go in there and piddle around with it. But uh, but then it does the uh, uh, initial update. Then you have to shut off the. Uh, the quadcopter turn it back on and do another update so so it's updated to version 2.4 right now the transmitter doesn't update just the quadcopter because there's no usb ports or anything and it says it on the uh, uh, update assistant it says no updates available because you can't update it that's why it says that <laughs> none available but and then when you get to this point here is where you would do the compass calibration whenever you have the, you know, the lights. It doesn't give you the, you know, since there's no app, it doesn't give you the instructions on how to do it. But it's the same DJI from, you know, like from the beginning. You stand, you spin around, and then you turn it up and spin around, you know. And then when you do that, the lights will change color. I think they change into a yellow when you do it the first time and then it goes back to green when it's the sec when you do it the second time. It's just like the Phantom 3, same thing. As the, the same thing as all of them. They all do the same thing. So anyway, the battery goes in here in the front. I just have it charged actually just enough to do the the update. I just charged it a little bit with the that cool ass charger which actually you can use for other batteries. Um because that's a pretty nice balance charger, actually. So that's what these cables were for. The only, the hardest thing was actually getting this, this cable plugged in. That was actually the hardest part of the whole deal, was actually plugging in that cable. So that was it, and there it is. I'll arm up the motors. I'm not gonna fly it in here. I would normally, I usually have no problem flying any quadcopter indoors, okay? Um, but since it's never flown before, I have no idea what, how it's going to act. So I'm not going to fly it inside, you know, but you can arm the motors up just the same as, you know, the Phantom 3, same way. Turn them off. And there it is. And that's, then there's the camera I'm going to be sporting on there. It's the session five. So that's the camera that's going to be on this thing. Hopefully it doesn't fly away. Now, this thing doesn't weigh anywhere close to the Phantom 3. Um, 
Let me see. Now, don't forget, this doesn't have the props on, but the props don't weigh a lot, okay? 865 grams for this without the props. And the props weigh eight. So you're looking at like 900. So this is like 1,218. So that's considerably more than that. Okay. That's it. I'm going to get this thing fully charged up here. And we're going to get it out. I'm getting this sucker out, man. I'm telling you. I'm getting this thing outside shortly. All right, guys. Have a nice day.